Good evening everyone and happy Vlogmas Day 12. This is an evening intro. <laughs> Day's already gone. What did I do today? Okay, uh, first things first, thank you for taking some time out of your day to watch. Hope you're having a very festive evening uh, or morning depending on when you're watching this. Um, today uh, I finished the back of Patrick's sweater. Yay! So finish the back. I hope it's right. The instructions weren't very clear. And now I have to start working on the front. And I only do about a, an inch and then I have to split left and right because there's a, 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 a gap here where I have to then pick up stitches and knit this collar and it's a double layer collar. So, oh yay. <laughs> so hoping to finish um, the front this week and start on the collar next week and yes I'm bringing the sleeves to Spain so that is knitting item number two that's going to Spain I uh, hope you're having a glass of wine or a cup of tea or whatever your beverage of choice is tonight um, I always drink red wine red wine is my thing uh, certainly in the evening a glass maybe two but I try to limit to a glass for the most part um, is kind of my bevy of choice. Anyway, but I did also have a glass of wine at my mom's because Sunday night I had, she either comes here or I go there, um, or Patrick and I go there. Tonight it was just me. He wasn't feeling, feeling up to it. So, uh, and she made a nice shepherd's pie. It was lovely with asparagus. It was delish. Um, and of course she sends me home with yarn, not for me, no, she wants to uncake it because she's going to add it to her stash. Okay, this is the cutest thing ever. My mom's 83, as you know, and she's starting a stash. So when we picked up that purple, that aubergine um, purple alpaca at Valley Yarn the other day, <laughs> mom was giddy. She's like, I'm getting a stash. I'm getting a stash. I'm like, yeah, mom, you kind of are. Um, you're going to need to find a spot to put your yarn and yeah, maybe we need to take a picture of your yarn. Oh, so she is like going through her apartment and trying to figure out what shelf in what display cabinet can be her stash shelf. I'm killing myself. Talk about a late bloomer. There's no such thing as too late. Let me tell you. So anyway, I've got this beautiful yarn that we were gonna make a sweater out earlier, a sweater of earlier, but she has frogged the sweater, so I'm going to re-skein this. She also, excuse me, I'm out of the camera. She also, what, what, what yarn was that? Hang on, let me put my wine down. Apparently I can't drink my wine and talk at the same time. So this was a mad top, no, this was Fleece Artist? What was this? This was, yeah, that was right. Fleece artist. Oh, I don't have, oh my goodness, I don't have my glasses. Where are they? I can't tell you. Maybe you guys can read this. Fleece artist. Can you see on the back? I don't know. I can't read it. Some sort of denim. It might be called denim. There you go. That is, and it's a worsted weight. Beautiful, 100% super wash merino. But then she also has these two skeins, and I'm going to pull out the, these are Zen Garden, I think, and these are from my sister. And Zen Garden, the, I don't know, the Something Desert. The Something Desert by Andy Warhol. I have no idea that's what they are a take of, but it's this sort of, um, I'm going to say it's a little on the masculine side, but it's got coppers and blacks and deep purples, um, but I'm going to re-skein that, uncake it. This is, believe it or not, a if not the same, it's a very similar colorway, just two different dye lots. So, and that's Zen Garden, and that is the Serenity 20, which is 70% superwash, 20%. Oh, it's MCN, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon. Oh, there you go. So, we want to get these. These are really tightly wound, so I want to loosen them up so that she can add them to her stash and has skeins. 
Yes, instead of cakes. So very exciting. So yay, I'm going to do that for her. Um, but thank you so much for all your wonderful comments about my project bag. I'm loving my project bag. Look at this. I have to say, I'm very impressed with my workmanship. My lining, if you notice you can't see my fingers at the bottom of the bag, it's because my lining is a little smaller than the bag. But it looks so pretty and I managed to get the pocket in there. Can you see the pocket? Oh, it's so much fun. So pretty and I just have to go and get some sort of drawstrings. I don't know. I have to look for cord of some sort. So if anybody has any idea, I don't want to do white cord necessarily. I was hoping I could get something turquoise or purple, but uh, I won't be fussy at this point. It does need a bit of an iron. But I cannot wait to make my next one because I learned so much doing this one. And I highly encourage you, if you've never sewn or you haven't sewn in a long, 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 long time, this is a great way to start. And oh my goodness, I had so much fun doing it. I can't wait to make another one. I will not put you through the pains of watching me sew. Oh my God, I'm so awkward. Oh my God, I'm so awkward. I don't even know what to say. Uh, the hardest part for me was cutting the fabric. So, on the videos, they were all using they were all using these clips, right, to, to clip the fabric together rather than pins. Um, when they were cutting it using a pattern, I just measured and cut. I just drew lines and cut. I can't cut in a straight line. I'm like going off constantly. So my whole edges were like this, and nothing was quite plumb, <laughs> as it were. So that's kind of a challenge. Then I told you, oh, I, I made so many mistakes to start off with, I don't even know where. So my bag's a lot smaller. Well, probably a good inch or two all the way around smaller than Allie's would be because I had so many odd angles and trying to square it all up, I had to trim off a lot of excess, which is sad, but a learning experience. Um, I, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I sewed it inside out as I showed you before. Um, I didn't pin the handle when I sewed it, which is why it didn't quite line up. Oh, there were other things that I did that I had to undo and I was kind of going, oh my goodness, this is not difficult. Why are you making it so difficult? Um, but I seriously, I'm a sufficer. <laughs> so for a sufficer, as you, from my previous videos, I'm pretty impressed. I love it. I just absolutely, it makes me so happy to see this. So can't wait to make a few more of those. The other thing that I bought, um, and this all came from Amazon today. So those little clippies came today and this came today because I don't know if you noticed, but I was using a ballpoint pen. Yeah, I didn't have any Taylor's pens. So I have now bought those, um, it's washable, I guess. Is it, no, iron. The iron heats it. Uh, some of that and some Taylor's chalk. So now when I am marking things, I can mark them properly. And guess what? All this time I've had one of those roll cutters and I have the cutting pad on my desk. Did it occur to me to use them? No, I went with scissors and it's quite clear to me I can't cut with scissors. So that was great learning before I do a bigger project. I'm gonna do a couple more project bags. I'm not gonna make a lot of them, but I'm gonna make a couple just so I get more comfortable with the cutting and the lining of the pattern. I'm gonna actually draw a pattern. Don't draw on the fabric. It's probably not a bad idea, but it didn't work for me, so I don't know. Anyway, so that was my sewing adventures. Uh, what else can I tell you about today? Uh, not a whole heck of a lot. It wasn't an overly exciting day. Um, yeah, I just knit on Patty's sweater, and oh, one thing I did want to show you is, and <laughs> oops, things are flying. Things are flying, people. Tomorrow, I'm going to time myself. Because as I told you, these are my Cozy Knitter 24-day Advent socks. I don't know if I actually said that's what they were before. But the last time you saw them might have been around here. 
And so I've done a few more stripes. I started at the wrong end. She clearly identifies that you should start at the red end. I started at the mocha end, and I'm glad I did because I kind of like the cream and the sort of taupey color. It's more gentle somehow. Anyway, I am doing these socks, my version of Continental, and I think I mentioned that before. Uh, it takes me seven minutes to do one round. At least when I did the pink, I timed myself and it was seven minutes around. Tomorrow I will measure time myself again. I'm feeling more comfortable, but I have to do two things. One, I have to watch a video on continental knitting because I don't know that I'm holding my yarn properly and nor do I know that I'm bringing it forward for a purl properly or if there's some other way to do it that's a little bit more comfortable. Overall, it is getting a little bit more comfortable, but I still don't have any speed to speak of. So tomorrow I will update you on how long it takes me to do a row because I'm very curious. Pink with seven minutes to go around. That makes for a very long, long knit <laughs> for a pair of socks. And I'm doing these one at a time. I wanted to do them two at a time, but continental knitting and um, two at a time, I think would have been just too much for me. So these are also coming, these are probably coming on the plane with me. So stay tuned for more of the sock knitting. And that is all I have for you for now and for today. So I'm going to pass you straight through to uh, the Advents. It's going to be a very short one today. I'm going to pass you through to Day 12 Advent and say have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining me in, in, the, in the celebration of December. And I love all your comments. Thank you so much, folks. Um, it's just so heartwarming to read them all. I love it, love it, love it. I'm trying to respond to them as much as I can. The video with the giveaway, I can't get to those comments. There's way too many. So I did try, but there's too many. So I'm trying to keep up with the rest of the videos. So hopefully you'll forgive me on that. And don't forget the giveaway draw I'm going to announce on the 15th, which is what? That would be Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning's video, so you'll probably see it Wednesday night or Thursday. I'm not too sure. Anyway, take care, everyone. Have a great night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.